So if you're viewing this, you probably came across this video because you are trying to root your a Shumi Redmi Note 2 that you've probably imported into whatever country you're in. So you're probably in some English-speaking country because this phone is really only available in China. Um, and you're trying to get root access to it. So uh, I was successful and able to get root access on this, so I just wanted to share the steps that, uh, that I did in order to get it to work. This isn't my work. This is just based off of what I found on the MeU message board. Um, discussion forum and I used two articles in order to do it but uh, either one seems like it will work they're pretty much the same instructions just this guy here posted and his English wasn't as good um, I grabbed the files from you can you have to create an account and you can grab the files right here in order to to do the rooting process um, in order to uh, to become the, I guess the super user I'm not overly familiar with this, I just got it to work and I was able to accomplish what I need to do because there's like extra software installed on the phone that you can't remove unless you're root. I wanted to get rid of this fun weather um, app. It was causing um, uh, pop-ups to come up when I was in the web browser. It was really annoying. I wanted to get rid of that. For whatever reason, Shumi had that on the phone or maybe whoever I bought the phone from, they had flashed it with that. Uh, and also, the Google... Uh, apps that came with it. I wasn't able to update YouTube, so I wanted to get rid of the stock YouTube and reinstall it from the Play Store. Uh, and the version that they had on it was like version 5. I think we're up to like version 10 or 11 now on YouTube, the official app. So, uh, in order to do all that, I had to get root access. So, what, for whatever reason you need root access, this is the way you go about doing it. And it's worked for me. All right, let's just cut to the chase. Grab the files off of uh, either one of these uh, these postings. I'll post the links in the in the description below, or you can just search for them. What you're going to need is you're going to need the USB drivers in order to get the phone to connect to your computer. Obviously, you're going to need ADB drivers, which are, stands for Android Debug Bridge, which allows you to send commands to unrooted uh, phones, and then you're going to need uh, Twerp or TWRP recovery, which allows you to do, um, I think it's another recovery software or, well, firmware uh, in order to, to upload uh, recovery software or recovery images to the phone itself. Um, there's a there's a built-in one, but the built-in one doesn't work. So this project, this Team Win Recovery project, allows you to do that. All right, so. Enough about that, let's get to it. So I have installed, um, I've, sorry, I have downloaded the files and I put them in a folder here. Uh, incidentally, I didn't need to grab the driver, the USB drivers, because I'm running Windows 10 and it worked fine. I didn't need to. So connect your phone up to your computer and make sure that you're able to access the, the phone itself and able to put files on the phone. Because you're going to need to put that super SU file into the root. Um, so I'm going to do that right now. I already have a version of it on there, but I'll just overwrite it just to show you. So I paste it in, uh, copy and replace. It's small, it's like 4 megs. And it's done. It doesn't need to be in the root. Um, but anyways, I just shoved it in the root for now. Okay, now, now that we know your phone is connected to the computer, now we're able to do the actual process. Extract the ADB and fastboot to your desk, to, sorry, to the folder where the RAR file is that you've downloaded or the zip file. So um, I've already done that, so just drag those. I'm going to do it again. It will just ask me to overwrite. Uh, I'll just save it. I overwritten. So now I have a folder called ADB and Fastboot. And you're going to have a recovery image or this file here, Redmi Note 2. It doesn't matter what it's called. Um, just grab the the one off of the off the forum here. This guy named his uh, I forget uh, what I just had there. 
uh, Redmi Note 2. He had spaces in it. I had to remove the spaces in order to get it to work, so try to avoid um, having spaces in the file names. That's generally bad anyway, contrary to what people might think even in Windows. Um, over here, this was called uh, TurkRecovery.zip. Um, you probably, I think, I'll just download this. Just to look at it. I think this version of it, yeah, it's an ISO. Yeah, it's an IMG, I should say. So, you're going to need to extract that one. But in the case of the one I use, and sorry to be if I'm confusing things, um, you're just going to need either one. Doesn't matter, either the one from this message, from this, uh, from this form post, or from this one. Um, so you're going to need that image. You're going to take that image and you're going to move it into the ADB and Fastboot folder that you have created from extracting from this RAR file or zip file or however you got it. Anyways, they all need to be in the same directory. So in the ADB ex executable and DLLs need to be in the same directory and the Fastboot.exe needs to be in the same directory with the IMG file. What you're going to do now is you're going to right click with holding down shift. Sorry. And you're going to open command window here. So hold shift, right click, and then now open command window here. And all that does is it references here. It references where I have mine under downloads, me, UI, ADB, and fast boot. You could do, you know, CD, for those of you who are familiar with DOS, you could do, you know, like CD and then type your way all the way over to it. CD downloads, you know, blah, 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 if you're at the, if you started a shell command. But this is an easy way of doing it. Now, you will need to do, you'll need to power off your phone. So I'm just going to power off my phone. So I'm powering off the phone. Okay. So now it is off. I get a message saying it's been disconnected from Windows. Leave it plugged into USB. Or if it hasn't been plugged into USB. Oop, actually it's rebooting again. Um, probably because I left it plugged in. All right, I'm just going to stop it here, stop the video here, and continue on here in a second. Oh, no, actually, we're good. Um, so I'm going to replug it, and I'm going to boot it into fast boot mode. So you do that by holding down. You do it by holding down the power and this down volume key. And now it goes into fast boot mode. So it shows this, you know, picture of this little, I don't know what it is, a rabbit with a little android robot that needs fixing with the little China star, I guess, on the <laughs> on his hat. Now, now that we're in this mode and it's connected to the computer, we're going to type in fast boot flash recovery. And then the name of this image file. So in my case, it's redmenote2.img. And then we're going to press enter. And now it's doing a bunch of stuff. So it sent recovery command. It said it's OK. It wrote the recovery. It says OK. Finished. And it says how much time it took. Now, now we're going to type the command fast boot reboot now the phone has now rebooted or is going to boot into into that twerp I believe it'll take a minute or two as it's booting up
Okay, so it's rebooted. I'm going to unplug it from the computer. And now, I'm going to go into the phone. I'm going to power it down again. Now we're going to enter in recovery mode. We're going to do the opposite. Instead of going into fast boot mode, which was power button down volume key, we're going to do power button up volume key. So I'm going to hold down, hold down. Now we're booting up. Okay, let go, let it boot up. Okay. Now it's booting into twerp. So this recovery screen looks a little different than the stock one, if you've ever gone into the stock one. We're going to do install now. So remember that package that we did at the very beginning? We copied over to the phone uh, at the zip file. We're going to go over to install. And then now we're going to go in the root. So this is the root of the, of the phone internal storage and this one mine was called update uh, super su version 2.46.zip yours might be slightly different um, the process is similar so we're going to select that one and then we're going to swipe to confirm the flash like that it'll go through and does its stuff and that's it now we're going to reboot the system So what that did is it installed a piece of software on the phone that gives you access to change um, your access rights to the root user, the super user, I guess. So booting back into Android's a little quicker. Okay, I'm just going to swipe into my security. Okay, now we're going to go over and we it, what it did was it installed Super SU. Um, I put it in a folder already, that's why mine's in a folder, but it would normally just be on the home screen. So we're going to go into Super SU. And then we're going to go into the settings. And then in here is where you can turn on whether you want to be the super user. So there's all kinds of things in here. So if you don't know what you're doing, don't mess around in here too much. But here, right here it says super user, enable super user. Super user is enabled. I went into the Google Play Store. <clears throat> and I downloaded a program called Root Checker. So this in here does indeed validate that I have root status. So I am root. Root is access is properly installed on this device. So I checked that. And then I was then able to download a program in my specific application called uninstall. And I was able to go in here and view all the apps that were installed, including the stock ones. And it tells you, you know, if it's a key module or something that you can remove or they recommend you keeping. I went in there and I got rid of the stupid fun weather app that got rid of the pop-ups I was getting. Um, so you can go in here, but this is very dangerous. So, you know, if you're going to muck around in here, do so at your own discretion. Um, and I was able to, what I was able to do was uninstall YouTube, uh, the one that was installed by default and I was able to go into the Google Play Store and update it and now I have the most current version for me that was why I needed to, to, to do this you might be similar or you might need to install the Google open Google um, suite so I was successful it was pretty easy hopefully this video wasn't too long but that's how you do it and I was able to get it to work so thanks for watching um, so far I'm gonna do um, 
I'm really enjoying this phone. I'm going to do a full review of it. I've been using it for now just a couple days. I'm going to wait a few more days and then just see uh, the pitfalls that I've had with it, the, the good experience, the bad experience, and then uh, give you my impressions of this phone. All right. Thanks for watching, and uh, good luck.